Hello guys, my name is Dmitry Mrzhansky, welcome. How often do you have the situation when you have to fix some bug for some specific browser or platform? Or let's say you have to implement some specific functionality for some specific screen size. Well, for me it happens quite often and in this video I will show you what kind of helpers provides Angular and Angular Material CDK to simplify this task for us. So stay here, we are getting started. Okay, here is the application with our drop-down search from my previous video where I was talking about um, overlay module which comes from Angular Material CDK and the link to this video I will leave um, in the video description so feel free to check this video out it's really really interesting but for today what I want to do is um, I would like to add the information which browser I am currently using somewhere in the header of my application next to open dialog button so Let's implement this. First of all, I will go to my app component TS file and I want to inject one service which called uh, platform. So let's do platform and this platform comes from the CDK platform and if we go inside we see the whole possible uh, platforms and browsers which can be detected. You can see that we can detect if it's Android, iOS or some browser like Edge and uh, yeah just read these comments because sometimes the engine, browser's engine has different name than browser name itself. But okay that's you can read afterwards. So far what I want to do is to copy this platform and I will go to my template and I will add some div where I'll write that your browser is and here below I will use the ng switch and what I want to say that if the platform is blink and if it's true then it's Chrome or if it's Safari, where is Safari? Here we go, Safari, then it's uh, print Safari, or if it's um, Trident, then we'll write that it's Internet Explorer. Otherwise, in the default, I will write that's undefined browser. Okay, here we go. We can see that our browser was detected uh, correctly. So, as easy as that, we can detect which platform or browser is currently being used. All right, let's have a look how our application looks for small screens. I will pick um, iPhone 10, let's say, and we can see that there's no space and the header and uh, everything is being overlapped. And what I want to do is if I have enough space, I want to display information. Otherwise, I would like uh, to render only this title and open dialog button. All right, so let's do this. The first thing I have to do is import the model called layout model from Angular Material CDK as well. Here we go, and I have to import this in our module. Now I want to inject the um, service, which called breakpoint observer. Here we go. And what does this service actually? It provides a couple of the method which methods which can uh, help us to uh, detect. Um, uh, the size of the screen. I will show you in a minute. Just let me implement ng on init lifecycle hook and we will put some logic here inside. So I will um, show you first method calls is matched. It takes as a parameter the CSS uh, media query and in our case let's say that we want to use max width which is 600 pixels 
and it returns a boolean and it you can provide also array of of strings and that it's a synchronous operation so we can do here in if method so if it matches this condition then it means the screen width is less than 600 pixels all right let's have a look how it looks we reload and we see our message there and if i do the screen bigger we reload and we see nothing so as easy as that it works so let's go further and i want to show you our observe method which also takes the string um, with the media queries or our array of strings and returns observable let's then add our previous value i will copy and paste it here subscribe to it and just let's console log this everything and see what we have okay it returns us the object which contains breakpoints and matches which is true or false and um, let's add some array of the strings i would like to show you something and here i will put 1000 and reload and check and you can see there is the breakpoints and it has for every variant true or false so it means that if we turn uh, our display we can see that one condition is not being matched and one is matched right and we have like, the logic is the next if at least one uh, condition is true then matches is true is if both are false then also matches is false okay so let's hide our uh, browser information for the, the portrait view so what i want to do is to create some property i'll call it is screen small it's going to be observable of boolean and i will assign the this stream to our newly created property and i will remove the subscription and here i will use the map operator oh, oops actually the pipe and inside the pipe will be the map and uh, in map i will um, get take only this matches property matches property and return matches because it's true or false anyway and uh, i will remove um, this second um, value and here is mm -hmm, i have to say that if mean width is 600 so it means that i have to rename my property so if if it's widescreen so it means that um if the value of the screen 600 or more then it should be true then i want to show this information otherwise i want to hide so i will rename it um, is white screen and then i will copy this and go to our template in my template uh, okay i don't want to wrap it in some additional div so i will use ng container for this which uh, compiles to nothing actually in the end so is white screen and i had a sync pipe and now i have to move all this content inside the ng container and i have to save it let's go to the browser and we see that for portrait uh, mode it's disappeared and if i do the browser bigger the information is there all right so mm -hmm, so far so good let's uh, then i will show you one another thing let's go to app component and you can see that we hard coded the value to we we hard coded our mean width 600 but do we have some maybe predefined values and the answer is yes you can import um constant called breakpoints from uh, cdk layout and there 
you can see let's remove this valley and now you can see there are a lot of predefined values here like headset large medium small tablet whatever so for now i want to say that headset landscape so i would like to show information only for the headset landscape mode yeah so it's if it's some phone and i do my iphone as example in landscape mode i see my information but otherwise it disappears okay let's go back and actually what the interesting which values um, i mean for this headset landscape which sizes it means uh, in pixels so if we go inside we it tells pretty much nothing to us it just tells that the type is string no concrete values and um, but you can see in the source code for um, this break uh, for this layout um, model you can find this breakpoints ts files and here you see all these values we saw earlier and exact values in pixels what uh, means the web size what means the small size and so on and so on and uh, it um, the values were taken from the angular material specifications actually the last thing uh, i would like to fix here you can see that our input pushes the width because we most probably have the fixed widths yeah and this is uh, 35 rams i want to change it a little bit I will say that my max width will be 35 frame and width 90 viewport width, right? And now it looks way more better and everything works as before, as expected. So we are done. Okay, that was it for today. I hope the information in this video was useful for you. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos or if you don't like, then I don't know, do not subscribe. But uh, it would be nice to get some feedback from you so I could improve my videos and make it more interesting and useful. And for today, that's it. And uh, as always, I would like to say thank you for your attention and see you in the future.